Hey, this is Wolf from Armoury Terrain, and you guys haven't seen much of me recently because I've been in hiding. I've been afraid for my very life. And why? All because I issued a challenge. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, check out the um, card that's either up here or up there, and it'll show the video where I was silly enough to challenge Cupcake Kel to a pie making competition. And now she's hunting me down. Everywhere I go, I've got to look over my shoulder and make sure she's not there. So anyway, what I'm doing today is making some armor out of milk bottles. Yep, that's right. Out of HPDE. HDPE? Something like that. It's a plastic that you get from the milk bottles. And the process that I'm doing is using a sandwich press in this case, an old Breville, which has outlived its use-by date. I'm going to melt this plastic down into a sheet. I'm not quite sure how well it'll work. This is a trial and error. So here goes everything. Okay, some videos on YouTube will tell you that you've got to granulate your plastic before you can work with it. But I don't believe this is the case. You might get a better melt with granulated plastic. But I'm not having much problem with this stuff, except for the two strings that have stuck to it, of course. So all I've done is roughly chopped the milk bottle down into strips. And now as I lay them in there, backwards and forwards, I'm making sure they all overlap each other so when they melt down, they should give me a nice solid sheet. And then when it's cooled, I'll be able to cut some armor out of it. At least that's the game plan. This is of course my first attempt and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Now I can say that I've tried. And after all, that's what life's all about, isn't it? Trying new things. Especially here in a workshop. Down we go again. Okay, so I've pulled it out from between the sandwich press and I sat it between two pieces of marble. Now, where did I get bits of marble, you ask? Well, I knew a friend and they were getting the kitchen redone and I got these seat cutouts. So that's a really easy way to get marble. If you go and talk to some of your kitchen outfitters, they may even give you some for free, because for them it's rubbish. I've then cut the piece of armour that I want to make, and I've drawn it onto my sheet, which is still a little warm, but it'll cool. I mean, it's been pressed between the two bits of marble. If you didn't have marble, you could put it in a um, big press, or clamp down a couple of bits of timber around it, because this stuff as it cools, will warp and bend if it's not held down. Um, it's also got this really funky texture because I didn't have enough downwards pressure, but I'm hoping that this will sand off once I've cut it on the bandsaw, which is what I'm going to do now. Okay, so I've taken my piece of plastic to the bandsaw and given it a quick shaping, but I don't like all the wrinkles in it. So I'm going to put it back in the sandwich press for 10 minutes and see if I can smooth it out a bit. And then when I pull it out and put it between my two pieces of marble, I'll put a bit more weight on the marble and hopefully it'll set a little bit smoother. So here we go. Hey, this is Wolf from Armoury Terrain with the end of this armour video. Now this is about 8 mils thick, super light. I mean it'll float on water. It's still a little bit rough, but I'm sure I could sand it down and paint it and you wouldn't know the difference until you touched it from being steel. So what I'm going to do now is test it to destruction. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on this sleeper, just to stop it bouncing around. Press that in.
Now, normally, testing armor would start off with a pointy knife like this, but I already know how this is going to go, so I'm not going to destroy the tip of my blade by thrusting into it. Instead, the first blow is going to be with this cane knife. So, let's see what a decent blow will do to this armor. Okay, there's a very small cut into that. Let's do it one more time just to make sure. I think I actually did more damage to the blade here than I did to the armor. Before you think this isn't sharp, it sticks into the timber okay. So it stands up to a cane knife. How about a tomahawk? Okay. And again. Okay, that blow actually did something. That one, not so much. And one more go. Okay. Looks like this one is the best attempt and it didn't do much at all. It's gone in maybe two or three mil. Now to break it, surely this block splitter will do it. So, well, that's looking pretty good. It may have cracked it a bit, but I can tell you steel armor would have been completely destroyed by that effort. Let's see if I can lever this off from the glue. See how many pieces it comes off in. So, final thoughts about making armor panels out of milk bottles. This stuff rocks. Will it stop everything? No. But then nothing will. Even the ceramic plates break after the first bullet impact. And I'm not suggesting for a second that this is bullet resistant. But to be stabbed, I think this is pretty damn good if it was in panels in your coat. And for LARP, I think it's definitely strong enough to be counted as proper armor. And it doesn't rust, and it floats. So this is Wolf from Armory Train saying that you can make pretty cool armor out of milk bottles.